negative seven, quantity squared, minus a four times one times 11. Now four times 11 is going to be a 44, right? So this is gonna be a 49 minus a 44. Now in this case though, you can see that that's gonna equal a five. Now five is not a square number. So therefore what I'm gonna have is two real irrational roots, meaning this is probably not gonna be the easiest problem for you to be able to factor. So therefore you can use the discriminant and plug it into the rest of the quadratic formula. Before I got the quadratic formula, just remember the solutions of a quadratic x are gonna to equal to opposite of b plus or minus the square root of the discriminant, b squared minus four times a times c, all over a two a. Okay, now since I already found my discriminant, which is going to be five, now again, remember that's under the square root, I can go ahead and actually plug in my b and my two a to go ahead and find my two other solutions. So therefore it's gonna be x is equal to a opposite of b, so b is negative seven, so therefore it's gonna be a positive seven, plus or minus the square root of my discriminant, which in this case is five, all over a two times a, which in this case is going to be a one. So two times one is just two. So therefore that is going to be my two solutions. Now let's go and take a look at the